We're staying with the big battle for Kharkiv here on India today. The most dramatic images coming in on day seven of Putin's invasion of Ukraine have put a fearsome focus on Ukraine's second largest city, the metropolitan city of Kharkiv. It once, very long ago, used to be Ukraine's capital and it has now been reduced to rubble in what is quite easily the most fearsome face of Russia's military forces. They've besieged the city and they're now ruining it, perhaps flattening it. And there is a huge amount of fear with large parts of the city being evacuated as we speak. Joining us live this afternoon from, the U from Ukraine is Maria Lonova. She's a Ukrainian MP. She joins me live. Uh, I see that her child is also with her. Maria, it's good to see you. I hope you are well. Sorry to be speaking to you at a time, uh, you know, when things are so difficult, but they happen to be getting worse. How are you and your family, Maria? Thank you. Uh, I'm better totally uh, than in Kharkiv and in uh, Mariupol and uh, Kherson. That, as you know, Mariupol and Kherson and uh, some uh, uh, towns from the north of Ukraine, uh, they are in circle. Yes. And uh, uh, you are absolutely right that they're destroying Kharkiv and Kiev just totally, you know, like uh, during uh, Second World War. It's like a punishment from Putin for our independence and uh, for our democratic uh, future. And uh, I talked yesterday with the mayor of Mariupol. Um, he is telling just terrible um, mm -hmm. stories because and uh, from Kherson because we were trying to organize the green corridor for evacuation for women and children. And uh, I just got a message that uh, they shot at uh, school, schools and hospitals yesterday. One woman in Mariupol, she wanted just to exit the city and she was shot at mm. by Russian soldiers. Uh, also, uh, the mayor is telling that a lot of bodies, um, dead, killed bodies just all over the city, they even cannot calculate it. It's more than 60, 80. They are not able to calculate children, right. um, uh, retire people, and of course, a lot of killed our armed forces. As uh, as a, a town is in circle and the Russians are attacking. For example, the 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 suburbs, uh, the suburbs uh, uh, from uh, uh, around Mariupol totally destroyed, totally destroyed, mm. and uh, the same situation uh, is. Uh, it, uh, is in uh, uh, near Kharkov. So uh, I will tell you in, in one minute regarding humanitarian situation, what is going on. Yeah. Humanitarian, okay? Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I, you know, I wanted to ask you uh, also, Maria, if you can hear me, uh, do you know people in Kharkiv? What are you hearing from them? <laughs> Uh, they are almost uh, all the time uh, uh, in uh, uh, shelters, bombing shelters. Yeah, I do. And uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, yesterday, you know, uh, the hospitals uh, uh, were bombed yesterday. Mm. And uh, uh, you know also that the kids were killed. And uh, yes. uh, uh, in the evening, there were a rocket bomb. Yes, yes, do. Uh, there were rocket uh, bomb, uh, so very strategic and very hard. So the Putin started to use uh, forbidden, uh, forbidden uh, rockets, uh, mm. and uh, 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 that is why it is so important uh, to stop him. Uh, I, I also would like to add, uh, I also, uh, I also would like to add uh, that uh, the problem is in uh, uh, infrastructure infrastructure uh, uh the infrastructure water for example in mariupol they have water only for two days they don't have heating they don't have uh, uh electricity and uh, uh that is why it is very complicated uh, with the people with the water ah, so uh regarding uh, chernihiv oblast it's also very hard mm. As uh, uh, the Russians, they took our women and children like hostages and would like, you know, to move uh, as a life, uh, uh, life uh, um, defended uh, 
life uh, life uh, uh, corridor uh, you know not ukrainian forces they will not be able to shoot them yeah, because uh, yeah. russian forces are taking behind them our people and children so the, it's a bad situation in chernihiva oblast it's more close to belarus uh we are addressing our international world and mm. society mm, mm. of course first of all it's ceasefire ceasefire yeah. and corridor humanitarian corridor for that uh, uh cities which uh they took in circle because we have to save uh women and children um and uh, that is why it's number one priority when in contact with international red cross mm. doctors without borders but of course uh international red cross are saying that they are not able to work uh, during bombing So uh yeah yeah uh, the tragic situation really was kids especially in Kyiv because it's only it's almost also Kyiv almost in circle and that the Russians would like to provide like Leningrad mm. uh, like it was during second world war M- Maria you know the the the, the city of uh, Kharkiv uh, is being is being broken into pieces with a lot of damage Uh, the city of Kyiv is besieged. You've got a big military convoy heading towards the capital city of Kyiv. Uh, there is a sense that if Kharkiv falls to the Russian army, uh, then Kyiv could be next. Is that what the plan is? Yes, it's uh, the plan of Putin to destroy Kharkiv, then to uh, take in circle Kyiv. It's it's his it's his goal, and the problem is that uh, really. Yesterday, as you know, um, television uh, television was broken by a rocket. Babin Yar, a Jewish Jewish memorial uh, near in Kiev, and in the evening again rocket attacks in uh, three sleeping districts. Uh, four, sorry, five sleeping districts. There were rockets. So they are they are continuing uh, to bomb uh, Kyiv and especially civilian districts. So this is the be- the, the the most strategy. Maria, thank you very much uh, for speaking to India today. I hope you stay well. Thank you. Uh, my best wishes to your uh, family as thank well. Thank you. I know your home things are tense right now. We will keep in touch with you and we will keep telling thank the story. You. Of what's thank happening. you, and I and yes. thank you so much for your stories. Thank you so much for your job. But we kindly ask you to call all other countries, really, for humanitarian assistance. I mean, uh, the humanitarian green corridors for that people who are as a hostages in Russian military Absolutely. troops. Absolutely, and, and a lot of land troops. Yeah, yeah, now are in from the south. So I will tell we, you. We next we we will do that, in, Maria. We will we will send out your you. message, and I can tell you, as India's number one network, your voice is going to millions of people in thank India. You. and abroad so rest assured your Thank message you. will not be ignored thank you very much maria stay safe we'll keep Thank in you. touch with you. you we'll come back to you maybe in a few hours to get an update on where things are at right now